What's going on everyone, Dr. Drake here, and welcome to episode 12 of your weekly Wednesday Wine Review, where we spread knowledge one sip at a time. Before we start, please make sure to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, so you never miss out on the content. This week, we will be featuring a red wine from the Douro Valley, located in the country of Portugal. I'm super excited about this wine because Portugal, in my opinion, is a highly underrated country that produces some really fine wines and can still keep their prices reasonable. The majority of Portuguese reds and whites tend to be blends of different grapes and the reason being is because Portugal has been producing a fortified wine known as port for thousands of years. A fortified wine, in case you don't know, is a still red or white wine that is distilled with a grape spirit, which is usually brandy. There are five grapes that make port, and they are Tariga Nacional, Tariga Franca, which is the most planted of the five, Tinta Roriz, which is also known as Tempranillo in Spain, right next door, Tinta Baraca, and Tinta Cao. How fitting as these are all the same grapes that are inside the wine we have today. The Douro Valley is the region inside of Portugal and can be divided into three different subregions: Baixo Corgo, Cima Corgo, and Douro Superior. We will be focusing on the Cima Corgo, which is where the majority of the grapes for this wine is sourced. The Cima Corgo has steep rocky slopes of schist and granite that have been terraced. The Sima Corgo has hotter summers, colder winters, and much less rain than right next door in the Basho Corgo. The Sima Corgo is considered to be the finest for port production, but also for still red wine production. Let's get into this wine. The hue of the wine is a medium garnet red with a ruby rim. The nose is extremely inviting with black fruit like blackberry, sweet spices, and vanilla. The palate starts off soft and fruity, like black brambly fruit, and sweet spices, medium bodied with balancing acidity with a mid palate of chocolate, and the wine does finish off with firm tannins that indicates this wine needs food. I paired this wine with something simple, a mushroom cheeseburger with fries. This wine is so good and it's on sale right now for $16.99. It's an affordable everyday red that gives you the fruit a new world wine would provide but still stays true to Portugal as being an old world wine, where the wine is developed to be served with food. A blend of both, which is what I love in a wine. Make sure to find me in the store or your local wine specialist to purchase this wine. I don't think you'll want to miss it. Remember to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay tuned for next week's prescription from the doctor.